ordered this video a couple weeks ago. It came out fucking shit, so I'm gonna redo it. I, uh, if you just saw the other video, yes, I'm wearing the same fucking shirt. I'm just recording the same video right after. Yeah. Um. All right. Maybe I'll combine the two videos, but I don't think that one has anything good. It's just not up to standard, guys. It's not up to the same shit quality of this whole fucking channel, you know? So, let me restart, alright? Let me show you guys, bro. I got the dust bag. You guys know what the hell it is, bro. Let me turn around. <laughs> yes, I had two of them at the time. Because, uh... I, clearly, I got it like that, guys. Even if you do fucking installments and you paid over time, it still means you paid it, right? So, it still means you got it. And yeah, you guys can't tell me I'm fucking broke because did you guys pay this shit installments of fucking over, over fucking 12 months? Even if it's $200 a, uh, a month? No, you guys didn't pay that. Boom! Right here, the Palace Ramoa carry-on suitcase in the original cabin, I believe it's called. And there's only one reason why I bought it. This handle, adjust it to any freaking length you want. You're a regular Samsung, I can't do that. You're $500 Samsung, I you're $200 Samsung, I you're $100 Samsung, I from Burlington can't do that. And another reason is, look, bro. Look how cool I look. I'm not in frame, so I'll probably use the other clip from the other video, but. Just imagine that. You see me walking across. I would walk it on all four wheels, but I'm on carpet, so I can't do that. Imagine. In the airport. Oh, shit, I can't scratch it, bro. Fuck it. Imagine in their point, you see me, bro. You see me with this, and you know what it is. You get no fucking way this guy's got it. Jules Koundé just posted with this, guys. Jules Koundé, bro. So that's how I know my value is even going up higher. I still checked on StockX. It's still selling for below retail. But, hey, come on, man. Come on, dude. Got my locks. Boom. Pins. Boom. The inside. I don't know what the inside of a, 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 any other remote looks like because I've never owned one. Can't afford it. Um, yeah, boom, set your code, three pins, the only thing I gotta say is that everybody hates on remote build quality, I, I gotta agree, why the fuck did they only put this little rubber thing to do that, but on the top, come on dog, what the fuck's up with that bro, just cause there's plastic right there, what, I don't know, that shit's annoying, and it sounds like it's gonna break over time or something, I don't know, knowing the build quality, it's gonna break over time, look at me, walking around the airport like this, Come on, dude. And another thing, also, guys, my mom brought this to my attention, dude. It's pretty heavy. It's not heavy to me, but, you know, it's 10 pounds. And depending on what airline you're going to go on, um, yeah, bro, they're going to charge you by the weight. And 10 pounds is fucking so much of your cabin capacity load already. So, yeah, I'm just going to combine these two videos, guys. And if not, dude... This is enough. This honestly, this redo is good enough, bro. Look at this. Look at this fucking graphic. Can't see. That side's all right, and this is the best fucking side. I wish it was this side double, all over. It's like some Star Wars thing or something. I don't know, bro. But it's sexy. It's cute. If you guys saw me with this, you guys would think I have money, and that's the whole point. Cause being in the airport, it's all about status, and this is a status symbol, guys. You see me with this fucking suitcase and be like, wow. This guy clearly has money. And... Oh my god, he looks so young. He looks like he's only 16. What am I doing all my life? Exactly. That's what I'm going for. I'm 24, and I'm ending this video, guys. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys all so much, bro.